you weren't born to work 40 hours a week doing something you hate. Hindi ka pinanganak para gumising araw-araw, magtrabaho, at mag-scroll lang sa social media hanggang sa dumating ang araw na magtatanong ka sa sarili mo, saan napunta ang oras ko? Zoom out and think. Ano bang gagawin ng pinakamataas na version ng sarili mo? Gawin mo yon at huwag mong intindihin ang sinasabi ng iba na mas importante daw. Nung bata ako, isa lang ang daan na ipinakita sa akin ng parents ko, teachers, at mga kaibigan. Go to school, get a job, retire with just enough money to survive until death. I was fed with narrow worldview without knowing any better. Kala ko, Ang pangarap ay makapagtapos ng pag-aaral, pumili ng kurso na magbibigay ng mataas na sahod at maging doktor, abogado o engineer. I didn't realize that I was being trained as a replaceable unit of society. I knew that there were millionaires and digital nomads doing what they love for a living. But I never really think that as a possibility. It just seems so impossible for me. Too far away. Hindi ko ma-imagine na posible pala yon because the only thing I knew was get a high-paying job being repeated by those who never decided to pursue their dreams. Until I noticed the potential of digital world. I remember when I was starting with digital marketing and online business, I was paying these people or influencers who have big followers to promote my product to their social media accounts and then watch these people who are making a living from their YouTube channels. I was like, hmm, mag-share ka lang ng any valuable information online, either share your hobbies, educate people, or entertain, you can make money from it. Ang realization ko dito, pwede pala yun. Na pwedeng kumita while doing what you love to do. Doon ko naisip na pwede ko rin gawin yun. After years of failures with many YouTube channels, social media pages, different online gigs and businesses, and eventually, seeing success with product brand transitioning to a creator. I found what I was looking for. Nandito ako ngayon para gawing malinaw ang daan para sa inyo. The Path to Purpose, Profits, and Peace. Before we begin, my book, a Abundance Mindset is now available on Amazon. I'm super excited and grateful for you who will grab a copy. I will put the link down in the description below. To start off, I want you to understand that creators are decentralized media companies. Media runs the world, shapes culture, and can keep people in chains or expose them to their potential. Lahat ng nakikita mo si screen ng computer mo, lahat ng billboards, mga signs, car brands, kanta sa radio, Lahat ng yan ay media. We are in a spiritual war of ideas and content covers more than just media. Kaya mula ngayon, when I say content, I mean media. Everything you hold within your consciousness is content. The content of your attention. Mindful content helps people grow. Mindless content keeps people from growing. That's the game we are playing now. We are a content creator whether you like it or not. You write text, you speak to your friends, you persuade your way to your career, you are doing everything that content creators do, but with a fraction of the leverage. You will be an internet content creator within the next few decades. It will be a necessity for survival. Here's how you prepare. You aren't just a creator or a personal brand. You are a person who is conscious of their character in virtual reality. May account ka na. But are you a consumer soaking in value without giving anything back? Or are you a creator contributing to humanity with the value you produce? This is not just something that happens online. Most people just take. They rely on the government, their parents, and schools drifting through life without control. But a few people are creators. They give more than they take. Steer their own lives by focusing focusing their attention, and help others by sharing valuable content that expands their minds. Now, let's talk about attention. How can you help someone grow if you don't first get their attention? Attention is the first step. It's the foundation of everything. You have to capture attention if you want any form of success. Pero parang unethical, di ba? No. Are you mad that your attention is being used to watch this video? Is it unethical that your attention is drawn to important things? Is it unethical that your attention goes to your phone when you get notification? Gusto mo ba na walang humahabol sa attention mo? So you just want to sit and avoid life, do nothing, and have no meaningful experiences? You don't want to experience the highs, the lows, the story? Wake up 
and learn to persuade. Another important lesson is that if you don't create something, you can't control your income and therefore most of your life. Work takes up a big part of your life and if it drains you, it affects everything else. So it's important to take control of your work. The way to take control of your life is to earn money using your intelligence, not just your time, labor, or looks. So how do you do that? You need to use your mind and intelligence to earn. Focus on writing and learning how to create value. Let's say you are in a food niche. Create some value by sharing recipes. If you're in the fitness niche, share some valuable tips on how to stay fit. You get my point? Let's answer a common question. How do I make money online? It's strange that schools don't teach this. It's because it would disrupt the usual system. Teachers don't teach how to make money online. Well, because if they could make more money online, they wouldn't be teachers. So how do you make money online? You start a business. You need a product and customers. Your job is to attract people to a product so they can hand you money in exchange for it. Of course, there's more to that. The product you offer must have equal or greater value than the money you receive. Here's the simple trick. You write content, work hard to get people to see it, and those who like it will follow you. You create a product, promote it, and your main tool is content. If you can get one follower, you can get 100,000 followers. Your second tool is marketing. If you can make $1, you can make $100,000. That's how the new economy works. Now, let's talk about seven ways you can make money online. These are different products or services you can offer to earn money from the audience you are building. The first step is to create a brand, make content, and attract followers. Without an audience, you can't grow your business. One way to make money is by working with another creator or brand. You need a skill that will help them like growing social media, writing content, creating email campaigns, building funnels, designing brands, generating leads, or doing marketing. Learn one skill, use it, then learn another. Write about what you learn, give advice, and teach others. The second route is starting a service business. If you have a skill that has gotten your results, you can start freelancing, coaching, or consulting. A service business is good to start with because you're landing clients who can pay more. Charge $2,000 a month for a specific result like copywriting, marketing, design, social media growth, and so on. Once you land 5 clients at $2,000 per month, that's $10,000 a month. Affiliate marketing is the third way. You can promote a product or service that you believe in and earn a commission every time someone buys through your link. This is a common way for creators to monetize. If you have a good relationship with your audience, you can recommend products and earn commissions. The fourth path is digital products. You can create and sell courses, coaching programs, or even membership sites. This is scalable because you create the product once and sell it many times. You could sell a course on a skill you have like marketing, design, or anything valuable. The course could be a video-based, text-based, or a combination. Think about it this way. If you want to make $1,000 a month and you sell a $100 course, you need to sell 10 courses. If your goal is to make $10,000 a month, you need to sell 100 courses. Kung mayroon kang Twitter thread na may 20,000 impressions, kailangan mo lang ng 0.4% ng mga tao na mag-click at bumili ng course mo. That's the magic of digital products. Now, let's move on to the fifth digital career path, subscription services. These are monthly or yearly recurring revenue models where you provide ongoing value. This could be a paid newsletter, a membership community, or software as a service. For example, if you charge $20 per month for access to an exclusive content or a community and you get 500 subscribers, that's $10,000 per month in recurring revenue. 
Subscription services are powerful because they provide predictable income. The challenge is to continually provide enough value to justify the recurring fee. This requires consistent content creation, community management, or continuous improvement of your software. The sixth path is licensing your content. This is when you create valuable content and license it to others for a fee. This could be a stock photos or videos or music or even written content. Platforms like Shutterstock, Envato, and others allow you to upload your creations and earn royalties every time someone uses them. This can be a great passive income stream once you have a sizable portfolio of licensable content. Finally, the seventh path is physical products. While digital products have minimal overhead and can scale easily, physical products can also be very lucrative. This could be merchandise, books, or any other physical product related to your brand. For example, if you have a fitness brand, you might sell branded workout gear, supplements, or fitness equipment. The key to success with physical products is to start small, validate your idea, and use platforms like Shopify, Amazon, or Etsy to reach a larger audience. To summarize, the seven digital career paths or income streams you can build are working with another creator or brand, gain experience and build your own brand, starting a service business, offer your skills as a freelancer, coach, or consultant, affiliate marketing, Promote products you believe in and earn commissions. Digital products. Create and sell courses, cohorts, or memberships. Subscription services. Offer ongoing value through a paid newsletter or community. Licensing your content. Create and license stock photos, videos, or music. Physical products. Sell merchandise or other tangible items related to your brand. By following these paths, you can create different income streams using your skills and passions, ultimately leading to financial and time freedom. Subscribe for more videos and if you want to learn more from me, check this video next.